In this game, Lee Sedol is black and Hong Zhang Shik is white. And Lee Sedol's second move was 3 4 point. And white, Hong Zhang Shik, instead of playing an empty corner over here, immediately approached this corner. Lee Sedol immediately pincers this stone, and Hong Zhang Shik went for this Taisha variation. Black attaches, white harness, black extends. When white bumps, black jumps, and white makes another exchange over here, and harness, and black connects. From here, the easiest variation for white is to form a tiger's mouth over here. Then black is probably going to play something over here, and white can play away. But since the latter is good for white, white extended over here. Of course, black is going to cut, white ataris, black extends, white extends, and black kosumis over here. White chose to play the strongest variation, and white blocks over here. Black extends, and white connects, and we have white 5 liberties over here, and black only has 4 liberties. So black cannot beat white in this capturing race. But white has a weakness that black can use, which is this cutting point. White jumps, black, kosumis, white connects. If you look at this now, the only way for black to save this group is to capture these stones. But obviously the ladder doesn't work, so black needs a ladder breaker. Black makes some exchanges over here. White blocks, when black harness, white comes in, and black plays here, and of course, white is going to capture this stone, and black's goal was to play this move. Of course, white is going to keep coming in, black connects, and white extends. Black's next move is this one space high approach. This stone is supposed to be a ladder breaker but it's not going to break any ladder at this moment. But white answering anything over here, black has a lot of ways to turn this stone into an actual ladder breaker. So white instead of answering this stone, white captures this stone. Black double high approaches and white jumps down on the second line. This is kind of an iffy move because the thicker way to play is to just capture this stone. And at this moment, this stone is not going to die too easily. Or I could even have played this 3-3. When black completely locks white inside the corner, white comes back and play as thickly as possible. This way, it's still pretty good for white. Since white played the second line move, black immediately pulled out this black stone. Of course, white is going to extend, and black is also going to extend. And when white makes a turn over here, black ataris this stone, and white grabs this corner, and black is going to capture this stone. Next, white jumps out to prevent getting locked inside, and black grabs some points. White secures the corner, and black secures the corner too. White attaches over here, hoping black would play this hane. White pulls back, and black would play something like this, and white plays something like this. This way, white has three juicy corners, and black has almost no points on the board, and moyo is not that great too. And this game is going to be pretty good for white. But black is Lee Sedo. Lee, instead of playing this hane, poked over here. This stone is trying to see what kind of attitude white has. If white immediately connects, then black is going to hane again. Then white pulls back, black two space jumps, and black is starting to form a moyo over here, and white no longer has this option over here. Instead of connecting, if white immediately pulls back, then black can push in, White blocks, black blocks, when white connects, 
black is going to make a two space extension and form a double wing, a huge moyo over here. White, instead of playing anything over there, white bumped over here to resist. Black pushes in, white blocks, and black cuts. When white Atari is over here, black makes another Hane over here. Although it seems like these are overplays, but you're going to see why these moves are such genius moves. From here, if white gets scared and forms a tiger's mouth, then black can Atari first, white connects, and black extends. This way, white is completely locked inside this corner. This result is pretty good for black. If white Atari is this film, then black is going to connect, white connects, and black Atari is this stone, when white captures this stone, black can play something over here, then this game is pretty good for black too, because white has a cutting point over here, this group is more or less settled, and these are still a moyo. But in the actual game, white player Hong Jang-sik is obviously got triggered by black's seemingly overplays, because the latter is obviously good for white. So, white cuts over here, black extends, and white connects, and black's ladder does not work, but black still went for the ladder. At this point, everyone was thinking, did Lee se misread the ladder? And Hong jang -shik was very confused too, so white pulled out, black ataris, white comes out, Black Ataris again, and at this point, Hong jang -shik was thinking, did I misread it? Let me check. Nope. And white confidently comes out again. And the next move is very famous move from Lee se the pre-divine move, which is this. If white comes out from here, then black is going to Atari, then white captures this stone and black ataris again, and when white connects, black ataris these stones again, and if white keeps coming out, black ataris, white extends, black ataris again, when white connects, white has only two liberties, and this atari all these white stones are dead. When black plays here, if white decides to Atari from this side, then black can play here. White still needs to capture this stone, and black Ataris, and when white connects, we are going to get more or less the same result from here. When black plays this Atari, if white extends, then black is going to extend again, then white still needs another move, then black can keep going with this ladder. This ladder still works for black. We now know this Atari from this side and Atari from this side both doesn't work. So white extends. But still, Lee se pulls out this ladder. White comes out. When white pulls out from here, Black, another Atari, now you see why Black wanted this ladder. White has no choice but to extend, and Black Ataris these stones. And when White Ataris this stone, instead of Black capturing these 5 stones, Black Ataris this stone. If White captures this stone, these White stones are still dead, then Black can pull back and win the game. So white, instead of capturing this stone, white makes a two-space extension. This two-space extension is saying, I want all this to turn into my territory. Black captures this stone. If white plays over here, trying to capture everything over there, then black can just play anything over here and win the game. When white plays here, of course, as black, as Lee Sedol, he is not going to play these kind of comfy moves. 
he is going to make something happen over here, especially when Li Sedo has no pressure of doing stuff over here. If Li Sedo loses everything over here, he can always go back and win. But if anything happens over here, then it is going to be even more painful loss for Hong Zhangxi. White simply pulls back, trying to not give black any kind of flow, and black attaches over here. White harness and black harness back. At this point, white cannot be soft and extend. Then black is going to connect. With the hane over here, black is going to live, so white has no choice but to extend. And when black makes a small knights over here, these stones are kind of helping black to live in white's territory. So in the actual game, white ataris, black extends, white ataris again, black extends, and white connects. White demands to capture all the black stones over here. Black makes a turn over here, and since black can make a turn over here to get extra liberties, white blocks from this side, and black peeps, trying to make this cutting point happen, so white secures the cutting point, and black pushes in. If white blocks, then black pulling back is a sente. And after this move, let's say white played something over here, then black playing anything over here is going to make black live pretty easily. Even if a ko happens over here, it's very good for black because black doesn't even need to win this ko. All black needs is two moves, something over here, then black is going to win. So black still has no pressure of fighting over here. Since white cannot block from here, so white cuts black's connection. Black connects, white makes a one space jump, black pushes, white covers this cutting point, and black wedges over here. White ataris, black connects, and white connects, and black ataris this stone. If white pulls out this stone, then black blocking over here is a sente. When white captures this stone, black is going to form a tiger's mouth over here. If white comes out like this, then black can simply connect White cannot go in here, so if white plays this tiger's mouth, then black is going to simply extend and all these white stones are dead now. That's why when black played this Atari, white immediately turned around and Atari's these stones. Black very happily captures this stone and white jumps in trying to erase black's eye space. Black pushes when white blocks. Then black, this is also a sente, white connects, and this is going to turn into a ko. And this is also a no pressure hanami ko for black because really, black doesn't need to live over here. So when black pushed, white chose to pull back. Black keeps pushing in, when white blocks and connects, black turns this into an actual eye. White goes in to break this eye space, and black makes a turn over here. Because liberty for white is very tight over here, so if white doesn't be careful, all this could die. White doesn't want to come back and capture these two stones, because black is going to get this incente and live over here. So white came out, and black ataris this stone. When white connects, black plays over here. White captures this black stone, and black makes another turn. White comes out, black harness. When white makes another turn, black simply connects. White has no choice but to atari these two stones. Black connects, and when white connects, Black plays another terrible human being kind of move, which is this one. If white ataris this stone, then black of course is not going to 
connect over here, but connect over here. If white wants a co, then black can cut over here, and this is kind of cofactory. And again, black doesn't need to save these stones. Black playing two moves over here is going to win. So it's a Hanami ko for black. If white pushes out from here, then black can block, and because of liberty issue, white cannot play here. So white has no choice but to connect up first, then black is going to connect too, then all these stones are dead too. So white pushes out from here, black connects, white pushes out, black blocks, and when white ataris this stone, black forms a tiger's mouse. This is also a sente, because if white doesn't answer this, then black is going to pull out this stone and all this are going to die. So white captures this stone. If you look at this, black doesn't have two eyes. But if you look carefully, white doesn't have two eyes yet too. Black ataris this stone first, when white connects, Black erases white's second eye. When white makes a tiger's mouth over here, black connects back up. And that is a sentence, so white needs to connect over here. And black pushes in and turned all this into a seki. Which means white stones are alive and black stones are not dead too. Which means in this part of the board, each player's don't really have a lot of points. White still makes another exchange over here and goes for the last resist. We all know that this start point small knights 3-3 invasion, we are going to get a call out of it. And from here, black blocks, white trying to form a call, and black gives white a call. Black captures this stone. White Ataris, these black stones, and black captures all these stones. White captures this stone, and black cuts over here. If white doesn't answer this, then this group is going to die, which means all this are going to die too. So white has no choice but to answer, and black captures again. White plays here, black captures this stone, white captures again and black connects back up. White still doesn't want to resign, so black blocks from here, and white invades. Black first, Atari is over here. When white captures this stone, black pincers this invasion. White cuts over here, and black captures this stone, and when white attaches over here, black takes the corner. White Hannes trying to leak out. Black Hannes back. White Ataris. Black extends. And black crawling out is very severe, so white has no choice but to capture it. Black Ataris. White captures this stone. Black extends. And from here, White jumps to try to use weaknesses over here to get some eyes, but Black, Lee Se Do, knew he won the game, so he just jumped. From here, White saw these territories of Black and resigned. 